Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Not just gun control, not just, not just gun control. You brought up a lot of other shit too. Homophobia. Mm -hmm. A lot of homophobia in this country that needs to be addressed. Let's do it right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not homophobic. I don't, I'm not homophobic, but I don't judge people that, that are homophobic because I don't know your life. I can't tell you what to be afraid of. Maybe you got some real spooky gay guys in your neighborhood that I don't know about. <laughs> Maybe you had a gay ghost hide in your closet when you was a kid and you jump out and tickle you. I don't know what the fuck you went through. It's none of my business. I don't know exactly what gay guys do. I haven't read the brochure. But tickling's gotta be the scariest of them. <laughs> If I had any fears, it would be a gay guy tickling me. Because if you tickle me, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> now, how am I supposed to tell you I don't like it? <laughs> and what if I do like it? What's that mean? Now we go together? <laughs> we gotta go get gay married? <laughs> I gotta explain to our son how we met. <laughs> Dad, how'd you meet Dad? Well, I was sitting at the bar, mad straight. And <laughs> I was straight as fuck, for real. All of a sudden, your dad came up behind me and was like, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> and then my dick moved, and now you're here. <laughs> That's the story of the birds and the birds, son. <laughs> the birds and the birds! Is that homophobic? Maybe. Does that make me a homophobe? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're all, as adults, we all have little things that we got to get over. You might not be homophobic. You might not be racist. But maybe you got some fucked up views on something. And if you're not honest about it, how are you ever going to get better? If I'm not able to say an honest thing, how am I supposed to get past that? Like, I just, I just recently stopped using the word tranny because a trans friend of mine told me that how much it hurts. She was like, that, that really bothers me when you say that. It's a very hurtful term. And I was like, what? <laughs> tranny? How the fuck is tranny hurtful? I just added a Y. <laughs> it's a fucking Y. What's so hurtful about a Y? And she was like, well, how would you like it if I called you Blackie? <laughs> <laughs> well played, Tranny. Well played. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I've been accused of being homophobic. I have. In an interview. I, just for being honest. You gotta stop accusing people just for being honest. That's a teaching moment. You know what I'm saying? You can school me. Don't, don't just call me something just because I said some shit you didn't like. That's all I'm trying to say. I've been accused. In an interview, somebody asked me, what would I do if I had a gay son? And I just answered honestly. I was like, yo, if I had a gay son, I'd probably be sad. But I'd also be sad if I had a straight daughter. I just don't want anybody to fuck my kid. I just... <laughs> I just don't want my kid penetrated, boy or girl. I don't... I don't want some dude showing up at my house in a tuxedo like, hey, I'm here to fuck his son. And I brought him this corsage. Uh, I don't even have any kids because I'm mad pro-choice. But if I did, and... You got to do more than march sometimes. I don't have any kids. But if I was a father, I feel like every man instinctively just has this need to protect their family from dicks. <laughs> Boy, girl, doesn't matter. You just gotta keep dicks away from your <laughs> Instinctively, I just wanna keep dicks away from my family. The longer I can keep dicks out of my family, 
I feel like the better dad I am. Is that weird? I, I, I feel that way. I feel like I'm gonna be that kind of parent. My daughter asked me, Dad, can I go to the, can I go to the party? I'm like, is there gonna be dicks at that party? <laughs> I don't see any locked doors. I'm like, what y'all doing down there? Any dicks down there? <laughs> no, Dad, we're just doing drugs. All right, cool. <laughs> what kind of drugs? Weed. All right, no crack. <laughs> I know, Dad. Why? <sighs> because crack leads to sucking dick. That's right, crack <laughs> leads to sucking dick. No dicks in this family. <laughs> no? I don't know where that comes from. That's just how I feel. But I can be honest about it because somebody else might feel that way and go see a therapist. Me, I'm here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know where it comes from. Maybe religion. If I had to guess, I'd say religion. I'm not a religious guy. I believe in God, I just don't like to bother him. <laughs> I only talk to God when I got tough questions, like why are we here? Or how are we gonna get rid of this baby? It's never anything more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, mad, I'm mad pro-choice, I'm mad pro-choice. <laughs> <laughs> are you miked? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to offend any Christians. Are there any, any Christians here? Anybody Christian? Christian? Yeah? My mother's a Christian. My mother's a very religious woman. She used to take me to church all the time. It was cool. <laughs> I just couldn't buy in. I go in that church, I see that big old picture of white Jesus. <laughs> I was like, nope. <laughs> I just never believed Jesus was white. Never. Why? First clue, his name's Jesus. <laughs> well, have you ever met a white guy named Jesus before? In the history of the world, there's never been another white Jesus. That doesn't strike you as a little fucking odd. <laughs> You're a white guy, right? What's your white name? <laughs> huh? Nick? <laughs> Nick, if your white friend came up to you and was like, I'm having a baby, and you were like, cool, what you gonna name him? And he was like, Jesus. You'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with Bill? <laughs> I just saw that picture, I just couldn't believe it. Looking like Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> if his name was Cody Christ, I'd be like, maybe Cody Christ looks like Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> Nobody named Jesus looks like Jeff Foxworthy now. <laughs> and all his friends was named Peter and Paul and Matthew. Those are white guy names. I think Jesus had a lot of white friends. <laughs> Probably why they sold him out. I think Joseph was definitely white. That's how I knew it wasn't his son. Oh. <laughs> He's like, Mary, where you get this black ass baby from? <laughs> she was like, God, I don't know. <laughs> it's a miracle, yeah. <laughs> I also think Jesus was black because they couldn't find a place to stay. <laughs> I was like, y'all could come in, but that nigga baby gotta sleep in that puppy bed outside. <laughs> Keep him in that manger over there if you <laughs> insist on having that black baby. <laughs> I don't trust it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, Nick, right? I don't, I don't wanna be offensive. Let me know when I go too far. This shit's being taped. <laughs> All right? There's still states I haven't been to. Oh, oh. I want to make sure I can still go. <laughs> What's your name? Paul. Paul? <laughs> <laughs> what are the fucking odds? <laughs> 
black guy named Paul. It sounds like an improv group. A black guy named Paul. <laughs> That's not offensive, is it, Paul? I'm fair game, fair game. Because I, I, I do want to be respectful. My, like I said, my mother, my family's Christian, very Christian.